Hello again, people. I bet you are all getting ready for the new GTA Online DLC. I can waste a lot of your time talking about how to get as much money as possible before the update, but I believe you know that already. If you still need a quick tip, uh, the easiest way to pile up money is to do Cayo Perico Heist twice in succession, and then, while taking a break from the island, get back to the city and take advantage of the weekly opportunities. This week, you should sell your guns from the bunker, cause it dishes out double money. You can also get double money on ammunition contracts, another branch of bunker's business, and as well on exporting mixed goods from your office. Both sales will take up to 5 minutes on average and will make you 100k richer each. Payphone hits, given by Franklin, will also have increased payouts by 50% and if you do 3 of these in a row, you will be ready to clear El Rubio's basement again. If you don't know how to do the glitch, link is in the upper right corner and in the description below. Glitch works for all targets, not just Panther Statue, of course. Now that's it about the grind, but what about the Los Santos Drug Wars update? While the summer update didn't bring too much new content, and I don't think a few new vehicles are that big of a deal, it did bring plenty of community requested game updates. This one, however, at least it appears so, will bring quite a few new activities to the game. First thing we've learned is the arrival of the new car, the Classe Tahoma Coupe, which will be available later this month, so I guess we won't see it when DLC launches on December 13th. This car came as a prize to the entire community for being successful in the heist challenge, so good job everyone! This DLC will continue on improving the game plan, Rockstar proves once again it can listen to the community. So what will we get here? The one improvement I really like is the ability to hide loads of useless contacts from your iFruit contacts app. You will be able to configure this via interaction menu. Another great thing which should have been done a few months ago but someone probably forgot about it starting from December 13 will be ability to launch business cell missions while inside your terabyte in invite only lobbies. I I did contact Rockstar support quite a few times because of this, so I'm very happy to see it. Let's say patched up. Another fantastic thing is uh, that we will be able to start Casino Story missions solo now, which will be a bit more demanding but still doable. And if you are, like me, a lone wolf, I know you will be happy to trigger these from time to time on your own. And to sum it up, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X uh, will add ray traced reflections, rendering real time reflections on many surfaces via the Fidelity Mode graphics settings. Since vehicles are a big part of GTA World since the first game installment, it is nice to see a few updates in this department as well. Again, a few of these uh, should have been done a while ago, maybe even on the game launch, but it is still good to see them even now. Supposedly, purchased vehicles will now arrive in your garage faster than they are at the moment. Next thing is very interesting since we will now be able to select custom weaponized vehicles in races. Next thing is also, well, interesting. If you want to pretend that your character is a healthy citizen of Los Santos, you will be able to phone your mechanic to bring your bikes from your garage after the update. And now, if you play on PS5 and Xbox X or S, you will be able to access how special works even before completing house introductory race, but I don't see a reason why would you skip this one anyway. It is not an easy race, but still, if I was able to beat the time on PS5 and I'm terribly unskilled while playing with a joypad, I'm quite certain everyone can. Next thing, of course, every update will bring changes to the game economy, but besides new stuff, we will also have a little overhaul along the way. Selling cars from your vehicle warehouse will now have high demand bonus and if you play in public sessions, so this line of work will finally be in line with other businesses. And another personal favorite, doing smuggler cell missions from your hangar will now have triple payout permanently which makes these sales meaningful finally. Having entire stock full takes a lot of time and with the actual soon to be forgotten payout, the only smart thing to do was to let it wait the triple payout weeks. Having this sort of weeks in the future will also make it even more interesting and you will earn tons of bucks. Shark cards have been boosted up, uh, yeah, no. Don't, don't buy shark cards, forget about this part of the update. And now, the major part of the update. We're getting a new property, that's certain, and it will be located in Blaine County, which is great in my opinion, cause even with the bunkers and facilities, this area is somehow neglected. Our old friend Ron will be there, but we will have another contact, at least one, this bearded biker in the DLC poster named Dax. Since it is obvious we will get our hands dirty with drugs, we can speculate if Dax is our Walter White or Jesse Pinkman, since we can see this guy with mustache cooking our, well, product. Anyhow, we will find out this soon enough. 
We've also learned that these new missions are divided into two parts, and the first part name is uh, First Dose. I bet we can guess uh, the name of the second part pretty accurately. And uh, we know that we will get new utility vehicle, this uh, MTL Brigade, which was pretty useless uh, by now. Now, we can't be sure if this is the one we already got, or didn't get uh, in the past, because why anyone should have in the first place, but uh, we have Brigade in the promotional poster. We can only guess its place will be in the garage of our new property, or shall we say new lab. Also, after completing the first dose and purchasing necessary equipment, we will be able to install Acid Lab in the rear of our new Brigade, or old one, as we already mentioned, to have a proper delivery of our new merch. Now, the update wouldn't be in an update without miners digging something before it launches. On GTA forums, user named Allocator dug a few interesting things. We'll have around 50 new vehicle slots, which is great. If we speculate our new property will be hosting 20-ish, we can assume we will be able to buy two or three new garages or flats or houses, whatever you prefer. Or maybe we will see some high-end properties in Blaine County, which would be awesome to be honest. I know, just saying high-end is in contrast with Blaine County, but still, this might happen. Now, getting 50 more slots indicates we will get a quite a few vehicles with this DLC, and hopefully, since hangar line of work will get major payout improvement, maybe we will get some aircraft as well. Hopefully not a crap duster like uh, this one in the poster, but a proper plane like a Laser, Hydra, B-11, Molotov and such. It appears that four new weapons will arrive as well, which were expected to be in the game a while ago, back in 2020, with the cancelled Cops and Crooks update. We can expect Police Baton, Riot SMG, Police Rifle and a special version of a stun gun. This stun gun could actually be an upgrade of the current version, some sort of Mark II weapon, but this is just my speculation though. Another thing we can expect are new missions, and Allocator said these missions will have themes like train crash, cargo plane, hip arrivals and rescuing your cook, which awfully reminds me of saving Marcel in Red Dead Online. This can even be a setup mission after we purchase our new property. Also, uh, Allocator mentioned that there will be some mission, or more than one, with chemicals and explosives involved. Last thing we've learned so far is that we will get a new collectible, Christmas collectible to be precise, in the form of a little snowman, and it is speculated it can be very similar to the previous Halloween collectibles which came in the form of pumpkins and probably with the same chance of winning snacks, armor, money and more. As a final thought, if you want to be ready to get a new property, at least pile up around 5 billion before the update so you can dive in the DLC content right away. It won't be nowhere nearly enough to get all new content, but remember that not everything will arrive right away, so you will have time to earn more before new arrivals. If you'd ask me how much will be enough, anywhere in the range between 30 and 40 million will suffice, but it can even be more. And that's what we've learned so far about the update. Now let's get back to the grinding. Cheers guys, see you on Tuesday.